Good morning and hello. Good morning. From Spain. Spain. <laughs> I think it's. I don't know how you pronounce. Is it Benicassum? Oh uh, yeah. Benicassum. I would be that. my guess. Yeah. Right, we've been here uh, three days now and we haven't even been out into Benicassum. Completely my fault. A bit too messy, don't it, huh? Yeah, we've been to the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got sangria the other day, first night here. Uh, very sorry, so that's why you haven't had videos. <laughs> Never drinking sangria again. Completely knocked me out. Feel foolish. Um, but I'm back, and I'm, I'm going to be good now. <laughs> it was a terrible night. But, um, no, we stayed in, got a few jobs done. Yeah, we, we did get some good jobs done. We've eaten in the van for yes. the last three days. Yes. It's been good. Uh, and we've still got sausage and mash at some point. Bangers and mash, yeah, you can uh, have that tonight. Possibly. Yeah. So anyway, this is our last day here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we haven't seen any of it yet. Now, I don't think we're even going to get to show you the beach, which is at the other side of them high-rise oh, things there. we could there. do on the way home, we'll see. I think it might be too far, Mazzy, oh, to be honest. Oh, this is the garden centre. Yeah, there's a garden centre here. I really wanted to see if they've got a bun little bonsai tree. Oh. I always so look... That's Japan. You need to go to Japan. I always look for bonsais when we go garden centres, don't I? On so we are going, well, trying to find the centre of Benicassum. Yes. That's another reason we haven't been out as well. It was the Christmas here, the Three uh, Kings Festival. Yeah. Um, so we knew everything would be shut. Yeah. It would have been nice to film what was going on, but I looked online, I couldn't find anything what was going on. But on the eve of the Three Kings, yeah. there was a massive festival going on over here. Yeah. Till sounded wicked. What, about half, five. half past five in the morning. Yeah. Proper music, was, singers, dance music. Yeah. I was getting up at half five and that lot was probably just the only thing going to bed. It was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. It must have been a massive event. And earlier in the night we must have heard a hundred police cars sirens. with sirens. Might have been ambulances, I don't know, so I don't know what was going on. Kept something. Kept must looking have been. online. Kept looking yeah. on, I couldn't find anything, but Something it was very unusual. Real, I've never heard so many sirens no. in an hour. Yeah, it was incredible. Anyway, so right. we're walking down there, it's the other side of Lidl, other side of Burger King, and then I think the town starts. No idea what to expect. Don't know if it's just like a normal town center or if there's anything worth seeing, but uh, we'll meet you there. <laughs> We also popped in there the other day, Lidl. Oh, we did, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, it is actually known as this place as the biggest music festival in Spain is held here, and they have a lot of festivals. Now, I've just noticed this one, Love of Lesbian. 6th of April. 7th of April. I don't know any of them bands, do you, Mazzy? No. No, too old, too old. It sounds ravey, don't know. So there is another festival in April. Yeah. Uh, got a Burger King, look. We have got a Burger King. <laughs> Opens at 12. I did think about it. Mm. I think, uh, I don't know. We can make his own. Yeah. Yeah. We have booked four more nights on, other, on another campsite. We sure have, yes. Uh, further up the road, is it Peniscola? Peniscola, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, four nights there, and then we're going to start moving towards the ferry because then you, it's going to get cold. Well, we're leaving here tomorrow, and that leaves us two weeks to start getting to Santander, then, doesn't it? I think it's less than that. No, I think it's two weeks. Okay, tomorrow. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. But we don't yeah. want to go too quick because it is going to be very cold. So <laughs> it's his last chance to be on the coast and have a bit of sun and, and enjoy, enjoy it. it. So four nights there. Um, whilst I'm on, I had an email, thank you very much, I think it was from someone called Sue, <clears throat> who was asking us if we're going to be at the nurseries campsite for Easter. Yeah. Um, we don't know, it's Sue, to be honest. To tell. There's a very good chance, but we can't say for sure, because if yeah. there's an event on, we might say we're going to, at the last minute, go it's to an event. It's a very good chance, but... We don't really make 
plans that far ahead no. <laughs> unless it's something very big we're one of them people that can literally change our mind tomorrow and probably be in amsterdam that week <laughs> aren't we yeah but you know there's a good chance we're going to be there but we really can't say oh, what month is it april easter don't forget we're going to tunisia 5th of may yeah no it won't be then oh so this looks like the start of town some ants back there. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get your head screwed on today. <laughs> Just been talking for about six minutes and realised we weren't filming. Yes. Cut it. <laughs> Near mind. <laughs> um, yeah, Three Kings Day. So we're not sure if they up. Was that yesterday? That was yesterday. Yes, it was yesterday. So we're yeah. not sure if the shops are going to be open today and first impressions are shops aren't going to be open today. I don't think we're quite in the centre yet though. No, we? but all these shutters are down, Mazza. Yeah. It's looking dead. Yeah, let's talk about Three Kings Day though on campsite. When we woke <laughs> up. You could hear the neighbours, they must be Spanish, and the kids got they'd opened the awning and they were like so excited and happy. It was so lovely, yeah. wasn't it? Kids getting the presents. Yeah, getting lovely. their presents. <laughs> um <laughs> I think they're all sleeping in a tiny little van, but they're like spending the day in like a little awning type thing, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, it's like a VW, I think. Yeah. Four of them, so that's. So, it, it, well, yeah, it was really nice to hear some kids enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> right. A complete dead loss so far. Yeah. I'd say about 90% of shops seem to be closed. Gutted. I think it's a bit too towny for me anyway. What do you think? It's very towny. Yeah. But this, they would have had the parade down here. Oh, would it have been down here? Oh, yeah. It? it would have come down here. Right. And the parade is basically the three kings on three different floats, pulled by tractors, and girls dancing around the kings, and they throw, like, uh, sweets on the floor, and all the kids pick the sweets up. Oh, I love all that. <laughs> <laughs> But we missed out, didn't we? Yeah. But I'll be honest, I'm getting sick of these Spanish holidays now. Spanish holidays? Well, you've got the Spanish ones, you've got the English ones. Oh, like the yearly holiday day. So, you know, yesterday was a flop. Tomorrow is Sunday, everything's going to be closed. <laughs> they seem to have more days closed than open 1927 don't know what that's about there's another one here that's quite nice but again don't i think it might just be a memorial to someone very nice don't know let's keep Keep going, keep us fingers crossed. We might find a few things opening now. Yeah. Might just be late opening. They do open late in Spain, don't they? We've noticed. 10 o'clock minimum. Yeah, but it is half 10 now. Yeah, turning into a complete flop, this, isn't it? Yeah. Everywhere's dead. It's the odd restaurant, right. that's let's, it. Let's stick with it, yeah. We'll stick with it. I like this on this wall. There's a car coming, so I can't cross, but <laughs> instead of covering over the, the bad bits, Let's just uh, highlight the bad bits. Why not? <laughs> Quite like that. There you go. For sale. For sale, Mazzy. We could live there. Is it? Yeah. Don't see how much, do it? No. no. <laughs> We've given up. Executive decision, yeah. We've come quite far. Yeah, it goes on about four more blocks and then that's the end of the town. Um, but there are streets down that side and down these. And I think what we're going to do is just cut down and go towards the beach. Yeah. Because everything's closed. Got to do a couple of shops. Pharmacy. pharmacy. See if... And get some oranges for seasickness tablets. <laughs> yes. Someone left, okay. told me what they're called actually, so I've got a brand name. Oh, you have? Yes. Oh, brilliant. So thanks for that, whoever said Thank it in the comments. Thank you, yeah. It begins with G, I think. I was also told by, um, I can't remember, was it Brenda? Oh, yeah. Somebody, anyway, well, told me to do flat coke and a banana before we sail. Do you know what that is? Yeah, I don't know. 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 Yeah, I don't know
didn't take my appealing, but... You don't like banana? I don't like banana, and I drink pop once a year, but we'll see, we'll see. Did you get them? Six euro. Cool, brilliant. It's the right brand and everything. No, yeah. it's not that brand. No. Uh, I asked for pastillas para el mareo. Yeah. Gravol. Yeah. I've got biodramina. It's comprimidos. Dimohydridium. It's definitely the correct item. For it's got a picture of a boat on it. It's for car uh, sickness, plane sickness, boat sickness. Perfect. Train Thank sickness, you, my dear. Sickness in general. This is the place to eat in Spain. Simple, it's called. S Y M P L E, I think. How do you know it? It is. Didn't you see it? No. Everywhere is dead today, but in there it is heaving, absolutely heaving. Spanish the people. The go there, then they know something we don't. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just like coffee and cake type thing, but hey, I'll that's be up where you want to go. That. <laughs> This sun is driving me mad this morning. Sun? Mm. Oh, I love it. Why? You're moaning that you don't want to go up north and not have sun. And now you're moaning you've it's got It's heat sun. I want. <laughs> <laughs> so the town or city, not sure which it is. Uh, centre didn't have anything to offer us because it's all closed up. Um, but the weird thing about this place is the town centre is way back there. And it's like half a mile down to the beach. Yeah. It's like a 12 minute walk, I think I've just worked this one out at. It's a long way. From the town centre, that is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. This is what I worked out when we first got here. We we're going to have to have a day at the beach and a day in town. Um, yeah. It's otherwise, not... it's a big long walk, but, but it's not we've managed. terrible, yeah. But we are a long way. A long way away from us, van now. It just Campsite. Seems... Dead today. It is dead. I'm just hoping <laughs> this uh, seafront is going to mech up for it. I can see yeah. the sea now. Yeah, because I haven't seen totally anything great yet, if I'm quite no. honest. No. Campsite's nice though. The campsite is lovely. <laughs> really nice, yeah. So we made it to the front. Yeah. And so far, it's pretty much what I expected. Very quiet. Yeah, at least but we've got the sun now. <laughs> we've got the sun, we've got the palm trees back. Um, we're going to walk on the front, so we'll show you that. It looks like there's some kind of castle here. Do you think it's real old, as in old, or do you think it's just... I don't know, there's a board over here. It's meant to be here. a restaurant or something. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, if there's a board, it's got to be... Oh, it'll be real. It's not going to be plastic, is it? Oh, I don't mean that. <laughs> Torre... De Saint Vincent. Saint Vincent. Torre de Saint Vincent. Was a watchtower built? Oh, yeah. Are you doing English version? Okay, so it's. It doesn't look that old, does it? It's old. It's a watchtower. Big deal. It doesn't look old, though, does it? It looks like it's had a lot of restoration done. Oh, we've got a sign here, Mazzy. Oh, look, we've got a sign. Six V. Six V. There's a bigger one here, Mazzy. Oh, it's just the name of the castle. Oh. Torre de Saint Vincent. The door is open, but I'm guessing it's a oh. pay. I'm guessing you have to pay, Mazzy. It looks a payy place. You don't want to go in. No. There's like leaflets at the front there. I'm, there'll be a woman just round corner with her hand out like that. <laughs> Nothing in Spain, from what we've seen, can possibly compare to the castles nice we've been to in the past. No, I mean the castles back home, especially Scotland, you yeah. know, they're... We're never going to top that over here. No. <laughs> Someone's done a model of it. And Braille, I like oh, that's that. that's good. Yeah. I've always wanted to be able to do that. What Braille? So clever. Yeah. Yeah, um, what does this say? High season, opening, low season. Virtual reality guided tour opening time. Yeah. Don't know. I'm not into virtual reality stuff, so. Unless if you're there and you can feel it and you can see it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, that's nice, so I'm down here, isn't it? It's 
less touristy compared to some of the places we've been to, isn't it? If Definitely. You know I mean? If you want somewhere quiet in Spain, the campsite we're on would be fantastic for you. Yeah. To come to this beach every day. Yeah. One thing we will say though about the campsite, really hard to get on your pitches. Yes. Now, our pitch is 70 metres squared, which normally you wouldn't have a problem with because it'd normally be like 10 metres deep and then 7 metres wide. But on some of them, including this one, it's not. It's like 7 metres deep and 10 wide. So you've got to park sideways. The roads and the corners are very narrow. You have to turn about eight times. But there's no, coming down our little road is only a tiny skinny road. And there's nowhere and there's to turn nowhere around. To turn. But Only we had to pitch. turn, didn't we? To and there were two other English vans turned turn up, up yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, of course, the trouble. Even Ours. more. They were took, at it. They were at it a good hour and a half parking up. But they were a lot longer than us. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if you've got a long van, maybe us, don't get us. Yeah. I think they do a premium pitch, which might be bigger, but they weren't available for us. Well, our van is seven and a half metres, so if you're longer than that, look into it before Ooh, you yeah, book, yeah. definitely, because we struggled. Whereas the next place we're going to is called Eden, I think it's 80 metres squared, so we shouldn't have a problem in there. Hopefully, yeah. That's the theory. So what's all this down here? I'm guessing this is skateboarding. Yeah, but it looks like a building, doesn't it? Don't really know what we're looking at. Tourist information. No, very odd, very odd. So this is where we are, Benicassim, if anyone wants to look it up. Exactly there at that red dot. Well, we're not, we're not on the beach. Does that not work? <laughs> where are <means>? you? <laughs> uh, okay. But have you noticed here, look, this is how good they are in Spain. Shower, 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 yeah. shower, shower, all the way along the beach. They're these things that, um, you know, wash your feet and... I stuff think they know what a shower is, Mazzy. No, no, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but they're very good for that facility, actually, aren't Yeah, they, they are, very. Yeah, it's really nice. It's well kept, isn't it? It is quite nice, yeah. Very, very peaceful. What's his name? I'm guessing Raphael Gill. Correct. Yeah. Raphael Gill. I got that right. I'm guessing so. <laughs> Director of films. Can't say I know who he is. He looks a bit like uh, Alfred Hitchcock, I'll be honest. Somebody let us know in the comments what kind of film he done that I'm, we might know. I'm guessing they're all Spanish oh, ones. Spanish, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, we're just going to continue down the seafront. Yeah, this will then lead back home. Pretty much. So before we leave the beach, I think we're turning off about here. It's nice, you know, it's pretty, it's very quiet. Uh, there's signs here, like, telling you the history of the villas. Yeah. Built in 1929 yeah. and blah, blah, blah. It's just not interesting, is it? It's well, like they're, they're really struggling to find something really cool to talk about. Check this out, this is... But we have found something nice. Yeah. What does it say, Mazzy? Uh, Felicis Fiestas. Felices Fiestas, which I'm guessing means Happy Three Kings Day. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, it's... So this dude's made up. it. There's actually a hose and a bucket of water. I'll, I'll get a bit closer. I'm guessing it was made a couple of days ago because it's starting to fall a bit, isn't it? So you've got one of... Is that Santa or one of the Three Kings? I'm not one entirely sure. King. Oh, I don't know, actually, yeah. It looks a bit like both. And then you've got all these lovely little cottages, little houses. Gone to a lot of effort there. Very nice. Yeah, a nice, a nice beach. Would ha I would highly recommend coming here if you just want a quiet holiday. Especially if you're an older couple and you just like to yeah. relax. Yeah. Go on our campsite and come down to this beach. You'd, you'd love it here. And you have all the shops you need. Yeah, if you need them, yeah. <sighs> Basically, if you're looking for the opposite of Benidorm, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Benicassum. Everyone's going to be saying we're saying that wrong, aren't they? 
it's definitely going to be pronounced differently. Um, it does have a disabled spot like some of the others. Disabled rampway, go down here, boats on each side, beautiful palm trees, very nice. Right, we are turning in in a minute. This is how you spell it, look. Oh, I've shown them that. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah. In fact, that looks like disabled... It's like a changing room, I'm guessing. All right. Yeah. Now, this is what I was talking about. If you look over here, Villa Maria. It is literally just a board telling you about all the villas. So Villa Maria, it was designed by a famous architect, Maristani. They also built another villa. It's just boring stuff, it's just not interesting, man. I'm sorry, that's just not interesting. I really thought they could have come up with something a little bit better than plaques about the villas. What, what did it say about this villa then? It built another villa and something about a casino. He's a rich guy then, I'm guessing. I don't know, well, probably. Yeah, probably. Well, it is beautiful. It is beautiful, yeah. but it's just not interesting to anybody, really. No, I mean the place. Oh, the place is beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're not knocking the place. Yeah. We are back. Yep. Oh, so we've been shopping, Mercedonia. Is yeah. That, is that what you call it? Mercedonia. Mercedonia, I don't know. Mercedonia. Oh, just got some bits. We were going to have sausage and mash tonight, but Mazzy's decided she wants a coconut and stuff. Yeah. So, I thought, I saw this and I thought, you know what? Yeah, half a chicken. Half of a chicken and beautiful looking potato bits. Uh, six euro. So I'm... It's not bad. For six euro, is it? No, we thought it was nine, didn't we, to start with, but that was a full, full chicken, I think. Yeah, full chicken with potatoes. And it, it was red hot when I picked it up. I want to try one, see if it's got garlic on it. If it has, it's the slightest bit, Mazzy, you can hardly tell. That is delicious. Bang that in the microwave, that'll, that'll be nice later, won't it? I am so happy with that. Um, what else did we get? Barbecue sauce, why? Because I got this one once before and it was absolutely lovely, so I want to bring it home. And I also got the uh, Caesar one of this the other day to take home. Okay. We think... That's salad cream. It's salad cream, but we're not 100% sure. We have translated it the other day, didn't we? It and didn't say did salad that. cream. And it <laughs> didn't, so we're still not 100% sure, but somebody let us know, is that salad cream? <laughs> uh, is that just normal milk? Semi, oh, yeah, semi-skinned yeah, semi milk, milk, yeah. milk, yeah. milk. Uh, oranges, she's got a thing for these. Spanish Spanish Valencia lovely. area. These are actually mandarins. Clement, Clement Villa. Yeah. But the stink, absolutely stink. I, I like them. I don't mind them at all. <laughs> I got some in um, Benidorm when we were there on the campsite place. Was it there? Yeah, I don't it was know. There. And I ate my last one last night. They are the sweetest oranges you could ever have. I'm guessing because I've never had one. <laughs> I don't know. We've got another of these because we got one the other day and it is a nice smell. You know some of these sticks you put into an air freshener thing for the bathroom? And it actually works. Sometimes you yeah. buy these gimmicky things yeah. and they, you know, smell them as soon as you open them and that's it. But no, you can smell that around the house. Yeah, it's a good one. So we've got another one of them. We were very happy with those bags. So we've got 30 more, no, yeah, 30 more bags. They were cheap. About 165 or something. Yeah. Um, now... This is the ideal size for us. I don't know about you guys. That's the size. Um, it's 30 litres. In England, we tend to have to have 45 litres, 40 litres. So 30 litres, bang on, we've got some of them. <laughs> Mazzy likes... She's got some honey and some milk. Well, these are handy because it's, when you open a big jar of honey, it tends to go... You know, because you don't use it that often. Yeah. That, that's going to be fine in the cat and there for emergencies for a coffee. I don't like honey. I'll be honest. Apart from Only on nuts. Potato uh, parsnips. That's really all I use it for, really. Right. Fibra sticks. Yeah. 
I what, like those. What did we used to call this as a kid? Just fibre, fibre stick. Was it all bran? Did all bran look no, like that? No, bran was a flake, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. I used to like these, but I can't remember what they were called. Someone let us know in the comments. And I fancied something for dessert, but something a bit different. So I've gone for what I think are chocolate croissants. Um, the funny thing is, in the baking section, they all had this same sticker on, and they didn't say what the products were. So I just went with that. And just a big bottle of bleach, which is so annoying because I, back home, I only ever buy the smaller bottles. Cannot get it. I don't think we've ever gone into so much detail I on us shopping. <laughs> right, right so boring. we're back at the van, we're just going to chill out today now. This is our area. We'll have sun all afternoon now. Nice. Hey. Firstly, thanks. That was quick. Let's say thanks to some people. Oh Mazzy. yeah, let's do this. Yes. Um, right. Yesterday's video, I did it again. I'm sick of yeah. doing it. <laughs> um, I forgot to alter the sound to dual mono and some mm. people said they couldn't hear us in certain clips at the end where we were yeah. saying thanks for super thanks um it's 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 just microphone basically we need a new one we're going to get one soon as we get back but I, I went wrong i can fix it in editing if i remember to do it and i will tonight well, let's get back to those super thank yous we do appreciate them and we did say thank you and unfortunately we can't do it again today can we because you deleted the name i've deleted the names unless the we go back and watch yeah, the old video yeah could do that. that yeah but super thanks we did get three yes. so massive thank you to Anne phillips thank you Anne. really appreciate that peter webster thank you peter really appreciate it and, and tim and izzy izzy that's where i line Oh, okay. Good Thank you, Tim and Izzy. Thank you, Tim no, and Izzy. No, you've already done it now. You've done it twice. Much appreciated. Yeah, Thank you very much for your really super thanks. Really appreciate it. Right. Uh, we've just been sat down outside. Yep. I'll, let's be honest. We're not happy with today's video at all. It wasn't us. I left the hat van all in good spirits. It's just... And we've, the, we're in good spirits. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the place. If it, you know, the if it doesn't... The place didn't offer it. If it doesn't give you that oomph, then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> but it is because it's all closed. Yeah. Um, we should have gone out the day after I had sangria, but we didn't because that you was... couldn't move. That was, what do you call it? <laughs> Three Kings Festival yeah. Eve. It's like yeah. our Christmas Eve. And it was buzzing over there. You could hear it all kicking off. Yeah. Um, and we didn't go never mind so my fault for that i'm sorry so we're not going to mm. knock the place it seems a nice place but yeah. we didn't get to see it fully no, if you know what i mean full glory but what yeah. we have been talking about outside is i think we're both ready for going back to england now aren't we we didn't talk about that oh, we, we were talking about things we're looking forward to doing in england no we were talking about when we get back to england yeah I wouldn't say I'm totally looking forward to getting back. Not looking forward to the cold weather. I mean, there's uh, lots of pros and cons to it, isn't there? I mean, I thoroughly have enjoyed the three months here. Absolutely. So have I. Oh, I'm not saying you haven't. <laughs> I think what what I'm trying to say is we've just been sat outside yeah. talking about things we're looking forward to doing this When we get on year. our campsite back home. You know, yeah. getting the barbecue yes. back and starting barbecuing and cooking yeah. meals again. And Having that little bit of family time. and Getting us awning up. Yeah. You know, things we haven't yeah. done for a long time. Mm. Going out and having an English meal. Yeah, that'd be nice. Proper Sunday lunch, you know, just I can things make a we're missing. Sunday lunch. I was looking for a joint of beef in Supermarcado today, but couldn't no. find one. Couldn't find one. No, it's very limited here, isn't it? And it's like, you know, you if you, can if make you want it, ham, you can make you're all right. There's loads of ham. Yeah, but that's the kind of posh ham. Right. You see the chicken and potato I got today. Yeah. There was a, a bigger one further up. In a in a like box this big plastic thing, half of a baby pig. Oh, there was half oh. of a bit. 
snout, Literally. eyes, everything. Half of a baby pig with potatoes next to it. Yeah, I wasn't Weird. keen on seeing that actually. Oh, keen on eating it, but I didn't want to see it. Wasn't it wasn't cooked though. I think you had to take it home and cook it, didn't you? No, I think it was cooked. Mm, I don't know. It? I don't know. I don't might be wrong. Know. Don't know. Anyway, so yeah, uh, moving yeah. on tomorrow. We're looking forward to that. Moving on and just fresh start, fresh new day. and. <laughs> so tomorrow it is penis, co penis cola we're off to. I don't know how far up that is. Where is it's it? It's there, look. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Penis cola. And then we're going to start going inland. Yeah. So we've got four days there. Or is it penis cola? It's one penis. of them. Penis, I would have thought it was penis. Penis I think you were saying cola. it a little bit wrong there, darling. <laughs> and we're off onto a big campsite there called Camping Eden, which looks very nice. Oh, it's oh, right it's, next to the beach. It's right next to an Indian. Oh. There's an Indian, has it? Okay. Uh, so looking forward to that. Yeah. I think what Dan's tried to say about looking forward to getting home is it's the inevitable. Inevitable? Inevitable. Inevitable. So it, it is coming. We know it's coming. So it's like, oh, should we just get it out of the way and go? <laughs> oh, no, it's booked. It's booked. No, I know it's <clears throat> booked, but you know it's coming. So in your head, you're sort of psyching up just to get home now, aren't we, sort of thing. For me... I'm looking forward to the next four days there. Yeah. But then I think we have to like go yeah. over the mountains and it's going to get cold, I think. Yeah. And that's what's Through putting me off. It's going to feel like we're back in England and I, mm. I'm just thinking that last 10 days or something might not be as lovely as this. You know what Unless I mean? Unless if we just drive straight through it, which will take eight hours and end up in Santander and redo Santander again. What, for 10 days? I don't know. No. <laughs> What's no. been your favourite place so far? Uh, I, mean, I don't know. You can't think? I liked Calpe. Yeah, Calpe was amazing. What was the other place? Was it Moira? Ra, 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 ra? Moi, Moira. Oh, yes, yeah. I don't know, because I can't really remember the early ones. My, I've got an head like a sieve. I can't really remember the early places we went. But I'll be honest, I did like, although it was cold... Yeah. I liked going to these little proper Spanish villages, mm. going in the old towns and stuff. I think right at the beginning when we did airs, my favourite was the one was when we parked right outside all these mountain things and we were climbing yeah. inside the little that were nice. like the little caved out houses. That were nice. Yeah. But the actual village itself there were nothing there. No, absolutely nothing. I think my favourite is definitely got to be Benadorm. And I'm shocked that I I ever felt like that, but no, I loved Benador. I definitely. It wasn't my there. favorite. It wasn't yours. It wasn't no. my favorite, but I, did, I don't know. There were certain loved bits it. I adore. I loved the busy old town and the um, taco streety thing and all that yeah. area and Dove Fountain. I loved it. Oh, Dove Fountain, yeah, it was cool. Uh, I don't know. Or just a, a lot of it was just a bit too British for me. Well, we spent six days a bit in a hotel, which was nice. I enjoyed that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was lovely. Yeah, that was a good Just getting up Christmas to that break. view every day. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, why are we telling them all I about? don't know. I just felt... <laughs> I, 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 I've just been trying to think back to what my favourites favourites was. Right, anyway, we better call It's not over day. yet. We've still got I lots know. of time in Spain and we're going to have a fantastic time. Two weeks left. We will see you tomorrow. Well, hopefully tomorrow... If we don't come on tomorrow, um, it's simply because we have got travelling to do and there are always bad days for us when it comes to filming. Yeah, because... But we'll try as best to get you a video tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. All right, you all have a yeah. wonderful evening. Take care of each other because nobody else will. We love, love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.